you matter. Your voice matters. You think you're not important, but actually we're all influencers, you know? It's not because you don't have like a million followers on Instagram that you're not influencing your community, your family, your friends. You know, I've noticed that um, at the beginning, I was really like scared to talk about this. I had like two or three friends that I could really open up about those topics and really go for it with my most crazy voo stories. And I noticed that the more I gave myself the permission slip to be cringe or ridiculous or sound voo and just like share, I would have people in front of me be like, oh my God, this is really funny that you say that because actually I also experienced something of this nature and I never talked about it. So I think that it's important that people realize how much they matter and how much their stories matter and how much everything that you go through, you sharing your gifts, you sharing your experiences can really allow others to feel safer to open up as well. Yeah, that's so true. It's like you think that you're the only one going through these things or the only one who thinks this way, but other people just, they have a similar story or they also believe the same way, but they don't talk about it because it's just not normal. But the more we talk about it, the more we normalize it. And that's how we progress and evolve. I've seen that across like so many different topics that used to be so weird and so out there, but now everyone's like accepted it because everyone just starts sharing like something like astrology or like even meditation back then was weird, right? People were like, oh, who meditates? But now everyone, everyone is aware of it. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of good to it. You know, a lot of people complain about like the trend that spirituality is because it is a trend. Um, there are a lot of spiritual influencers, a lot of online courses. I think you need to have a healthy level of discernment, a healthy level of skepticism. I think it's important to ask questions because there's a lot out there. Like you really need to know how to navigate, you know, but I think it's good because it allows people to feel less intimidated by it. For so long, you know, we considered spirituality to be either religion or um, becoming a Buddhist monk and isolating yourself on top of a mountain or becoming Mother Teresa and, you know, getting rid of all of your belongings. And that was the only way to be a spiritual being in people's mind, you know. I think that now we are creating a more modern relationship with spirituality as energy. Energy is everywhere, energy is everything. Energy doesn't recognize, you know, skin color or religion or how cool your house is. Like energy is energy and we all have access to it. And um it's not that simple, but it's easy. Like it's something that we can all learn to understand and to work with. You don't need to buy a hundred million books to learn energy work. Like you can just, once again, go into nature and connect with the river or the tree and just work with your own body, your own breath. Like you can experience a psychedelic experience just by playing with your breath or, Mm -hmm. you know, doing mindful body work. Like you are the portal. It's not outside of you. And I think this is something that people really need to understand. Spirituality is not someone telling you what it is. It's you experiencing it and it's you figuring out what it is for you and what your relationship is with what your relationship is with the invisible you know um it's a very personal and unique path um you can have people guide you through this path um but you're the one walking it 